In January of 2015, the lives of Diana Colmenares and her seven-year-old son, George, changed forever. This Colombian boy was diagnosed with leukemia. He loves football. He is super smart. He was first in his class and he had never been sick. This is hard. What came next was a year and a half of hardship, not just because of the diagnosis, but because the Colmenares family was forced to take legal action against their health insurance provider four separate times in order to get the attention George needed. I don't understand why the health insurance providers make us go through horrible lengths to give our children treatment. Family members going through lengthy paperwork to get a diagnosis and then to get treated, a common story for sick children in Colombia. Their plight made recent headlines when a group of young cancer patients wrote letters to Colombian President Juan Manuel Santos and his Minister of Health, asking them to intervene. One boy's death in July sparked the letter-writing campaign. Organizers say he died while waiting two months for approval for a bone marrow transplant. Government accounts confirm children are dying amid bureaucratic delays. According to a 2015 report from Colombia's Public Defender's Office, 60 percent of the nation's children with cancer die from a lack of timely access to treatment. Compare that to children's overall survival rates of about 80 percent in developed nations like the United States and Britain. El tener que autorizar cada tratamiento. Having to authorize every treatment, every medicine, every intervention made on a child with cancer is probably one of the biggest barriers, even the denial of certain services to children with cancer. According to Dr. Suarez, many families abandon treatment because of these barriers. Gipsel Bello works at a foundation that helps families demand their patients' rights. She explains how poverty and other factors come into play. There is also the geographical issue. Children that have to get treatment in the city come from faraway rural towns and communities, where they have to travel via boat or a bus that only leaves during certain hours or days. The Colmenares family knows this all too well. Diana moved from their hometown Bucaramanga to Bogotá, where they rent a room while George receives a bone marrow transplant. Not an easy move, as she had to quit her job and leave her younger son and husband. But Diana says the most important thing is to savor every moment she has with George, as she knows tomorrow is not guaranteed. Michelle Begay, CCTV, Bogotá.